How exactly do you create an email template in HubSpot? Keep watching to find out more. What's going on sales family? It's Fahed from Sales Unveiled once again, helping slash through all the misconceptions around sales, business, side hustles, and personal development, and giving you the practical advice that you need in your day-to-day -day careers whilst looking like a middle-aged, overweight, retired PE teacher. Got that look down, don't I? Now, HubSpot is a fantastic sales tool that us salespeople can use to speed up the process of getting in touch with our prospects via super templated emails. Sending emails through the platform or more specifically sending inbound emails through the platform that are highly templated would allow us to focus our attention on more complex prospects that need a more bespoke outbound approach. That being said, not gonna lie to you guys, setting up emails and templates in HubSpot can be a little bit difficult if you're relatively new to sales. Heck, I even forget at the best of times so that this tutorial is pretty much more for me than the rest of you guys. In the video today then guys, we're gonna jump into this disgusting old dirty laptop and show you guys exactly how to set up an email template in HubSpot. I'm also gonna show you how to personalize these templates and you're also gonna to wanna to stick around to the end of the video where I have a little bit of a bonus that should really help, especially if you're using this for inbound sales emails. Let's jump into this bad boy then, shall we? Right guys, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is simply log in to your HubSpot account. Now, most of you watching this will already be working for companies who already have HubSpot in place. However, if you don't and you're a manager thinking about investing in HubSpot, um, just from some quick numbers that I found, it costs roughly around about $45 per month for a basic startup plan with two paid users per month. However, HubSpot does have a bunch of free tools. Right, so simply type in HubSpot into Google or log into their website and all you wanna do is click on this. The next thing you wanna do is just click on go to my account and then this will give you the main area and the main load screen. So this is the main load screen of HubSpot. So what you're then going to want to do is click on conversations and then click on templates. This section then will be where you see all of your existing templates. To create a new one, all you wanna do is click this little orange button that says new template in the top right. Now this is gonna give you the option to either create a brand new template from scratch or create one from a templated library. Uh, for this example, we'll just do one from scratch here. So you click on from scratch. So this then is basically our creator to create a brand new email template in HubSpot. So the first thing we can do is give this one a name. So let's call it, I don't know, inbound sales email template for webinar. 2021. Something that is easy to remember. Now for this example, we're just gonna use the inbound template email that we'll talk about a little bit later on. So what we're gonna to want to do is add a subject line here. So for this one, it was remote working while electric. Copy that bad boy and paste it in there. And then we're gonna to want to add the body of our content there, or the body of our email rather. So I'm just gonna get rid of that and paste that there. Now, as you can see, this one hasn't exactly copied in the best particular way. So let's just do a quick bit of editing just to make sure that this looks all right. Perfect. So now you've got the content in there, we can then personalize this a little bit more. So if you were to leave it as it is right now, this would be going out to Fairhead, but we don't want it to go out to Fairhead. We want it to go out to your prospects. So the way in which we would do this is just simply get rid of this. And it's probably worth mentioning to get rid of any of the names that you can see here. And then you want to personalize it by clicking on personalize. And then you can write first name here. There we go. We then want to do the same thing here as well. There you go. And what this will do is when we automatically send this one out on the platform, it'll make sure that this person's name will be there as well. Now, we also have the ability to further personalize this a little bit more by adding whatever information you want. So maybe you want to add your direct webinar name there. Uh, the name of some of your competitors, all these kinds of things, but we'll leave it quite basic for now. But in order to do that, you just want to click on personalize once again, and you'll see all these different options. Now, what this will do is this will actually synchronize up directly with whatever CRM platform you're using, whether it's HubSpot, Salesforce, any of those kinds of things, and pull this information and pull this personalized data from there. So you can rest assured that when you do send this, you won't have to worry about it getting sent out to sort of the wrong person or any of those kinds of things. You can then also further change the formatting. So for example, let's say if you don't like this text, we want to get rid of it. We'll highlight it all, remove the formatting, and then we can further change it here to, I don't know, serif, sans serif, for example. We can make the size larger, any of those kinds of things. Now, what you wanna do here is once this is completed, which I'm pretty happy with this content, you can then click on select a folder, select your folder. It's always worth having a folder in your particular name, guys. You wanna set up your folder there. Click on save template, 
and your template guys is pretty much good to go. So now we've got our template, the next thing that we need to do is actually send an email with that. So the best thing that we would do is simply pop over to our email, click on compose. So obviously you can tell I'm using Gmail here and let's send this to, I don't know, my email just so we've got an idea. So you want the first thing you want to do, more importantly than anything else, is put the contact name there. And then you'll click on templates. So because you'll have HubSpot, you'll have this extra options here on your email to actually do this. So click on templates and make sure you're the owner here. So any of the emails that you've created in HubSpot will be under your folder, which is what we're in right now. Now, if you, all we need to do now is just search for the title of the email. So it's this little bad boy here. We click on that. Now, sometimes there can still be a little bit of issues here. So this is putting it directly from my first name. So what you want to do is just give it the once over, double check that, and that is pretty much good to go. And then you can wax in. Now, like I mentioned earlier on, the majority of you will be using HubSpot, not for, you know, super complex, super personalized ad band emails, but more for mass produced inbound emails on the back of things like, you know, webinars, events, content downloads, any of those kinds of things. Now we've touched on this a little bit earlier on, but as such, I wanted to highlight my inbound sales video template, which goes through a step-by-step -step process of how to actually set up a powerful inbound sales email. You can find that video right here. As always, if you're interested in more fantastic content around what we mentioned here, please do absolutely smash the like and subscribe button. We're almost at 100 subscribers, up to I think 52 on last check. So, we're doing bits guys, we're doing bits. But until the next one, I'll leave you to it. Salute.